Hello, I'm Matthew Kay from Beyond the Brick, and I'm here with David Pagano, a co-author co-author of the uh, Lego Animation book. And David, we've already discussed uh, numerous topics relating to the book and uh, things that you kind of included in the book. Um, I believe we're going to close out the discussion about the book here with a uh, talk about scale. And oh, yeah. uh, with Lego, uh, minifigure scale tends to be almost like the default, but there are numerous other scales in the Lego world that you should be building to or thinking about. Um, you give us a little bit of a, a taste of uh, other scales and sure. implications of scales on animation? Sure. Uh, so you can see some of the scales happening behind me, uh, but um, one, of the, one of the main things we talk about in the book is uh, this sort of a scale, and if you're familiar with any of my work, uh, this is what uh, has been uh, dubbed the Pagano Puppet. Um, I didn't give it that name because I'm not quite that vain, but um, it is apt. Um, so this is sort of a, a mid-sized character in terms of the stuff I generally do. And he's kind of like, um, you know, I like having a, a balance between brick built and um, sort of the construction kind of scale. Sure. In terms of like the uh, Hero Factory, mm -hmm. uh, Star Wars kind of things, and Galador. Yes. And, you know, oh, Galador. Um, oh, sure, sure. Um, so this is, this is something that we have kind of a guide to building in the book. Uh, and he's very poseable, as you can see. And he's got, you know, oh, uh, this is sort of the the newest iteration of this type of character because I've been using these for a number of years now. But um, one of the main differences this time around is that um, is the hands used to be just minifigure legs, but because they stopped making uh, yellow legs with a yellow pelvis, um, I was like, well, time to time to change that up. So now uh, I've incorporated some of the uh, the micro ball joints and giving him a little bit more. Flexibility. Pixels joints? Or yeah, or, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, very nice. And he's got the uh, the old uh, creator eyeballs now. Yep. Um, and just giving giving another option because you're right. Uh, Mini figures are usually the default for uh, brick filming uh, novices, and with good reason. They're they're everywhere. They are everywhere, and they are just limited enough to be um, not overwhelming in terms of like, oh, I can. Like, do I need to move it here or here or here? Like, I don't know how to, like, I'm just new to this. Um, so they keep, the limitations of the minifigure keep it simple for people who are starting out, and then once you sort of want to get your feet wet with, like, more advanced scales or just trying new things, sure. um, you can move to something like this. And we also talk about scale in the book from the perspective of, you know, if you're animating on a 3x5 table, um, you don't need to build a giant city, you can build this guy standing in the foreground, and then a microscale city in the background. Force perspective. Force perspective, you're yeah. correct, and sort of imply what you would not otherwise be able to build, sure. whether due to space or a number of brick constraints and things like that. And now uh, we have this scale, we have this scale, we have minifig scale. What about micro scale? Is there any discussion of that? Is that something, that, as an animator, I feel like micro would be hard to kind of manipulate? Well, we do talk about micro scale in the book just because it is um, a fun scale and it gives you uh, other options. Obviously, it works great for force perspective because you can put micro scale buildings in the background and have them look far away, even though they might be only five inches away. Um, but also, uh, things like the Lego movie made great use of micro scale in terms of they would cut to just like sort of humorous, like wide shots where it would just be like a little tiny version of the pirate ship and it was going and like things like that like they add variety and they let you sort of stretch and flex your muscles in terms of like trying different building techniques sure. and things like that very nice, very nice well David thank you so much for sharing with us it Absolutely. looks like it'll be a wonderful book and uh, you should go out and pick up a copy I agree with that <laughs>